Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Federico Soldati and I am, I am a professional mentalist uh, from Lugano. Uh, I do not speak English very well, but I have a perfect Italian accent, so <laughs> we should understand each other quite well. Uh, I'm 27 years old, uh, and uh, I remember since I was a kid, uh, I've been analyzing the human mind to find ways to expand its power and do things that uh, are considered impossible. And today I will try to merge magic techniques with real skills like uh, psychology, intuition, body language, and uh, hopefully together we can dive into a wonderful dimension where there are no limits to fully explore the potential of our own minds. And uh, let me start the show by uh, inviting three volunteers on stage, and it is very, very important that I only use random helpers. So I created, uh, for the first time, I guess, uh, the TEDx official uh, paper plane. <laughs> and I will uh, throw three of them. I prepared five, just in case. But and um, please remember the importance of gender equality. So in the three of the volunteers, I will need at least one man or at least one woman. Are you ready? Great. So let's see who's the first lucky one. Let's see, oh, yep, okay, you're the one. <laughs> Stay there, you can already stand up. Let's see who's the next one. <whistles> oh, uh, well, nobody's there, I will throw another one. <laughs> you almost got involved. <laughs> so, let's see, oh, we got a volunteer there, yes. So we got two men, thank you for bringing back the, the paper plane. So we need a woman now. So if you are a man catching the plane, please give it to your nearby woman. Are you ready? So, hopla. Oh, a man, so um, let's give it to your nearby woman. What's your name? Katerina. Katerina, really? It's, it's the name of my next girlfriend. Please, uh, yeah, <laughs> come on stage, come on stage, everybody. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, just come here, don't worry. Yeah, uh, thank you for coming so spontaneously, I really appreciate it. What's your name? Mike. Uh, Mike, may I ask you... Uh, Ryan, Ryan is also a very nice uh, name. Uh, may I ask you if you are married or happy? Uh, both? Happy. Oh, okay, happy, okay. You can have a seat there. And you are... Uh, Ma Maximilian, right? I knew that. <laughs> no, it's actually written here. And Katrina, you can uh, take a seat. Thank you so much for uh, coming. Uh, no, oh, uh, Maximilian, you have to stay here. <laughs> you have to work a little bit uh, with me. I would recommend uh, we start the show by uh, warming up uh, a little bit with our bodies. So please copy everything I do, OK? okay. Uh, don't, be, don't be scared. I'm vegetarian uh, since eight years. So. <laughs> Okay, please put your hand like this and copy all my movements, uh, like this. Yes, take all of your fingers. The thumb needs to point downwards. Yeah, very stiff. Also, you, your back, if possible. Leave it more to the top. It's blocking here, it's normal. Now to the right, top, right, here. It naturally blocks, but I will try to go beyond natural rules. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you feel better? Yeah, okay, I guess you feel. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, as you all just witnessed, the things that we know about reality can change in a matter of seconds right before our eyes. The only limits that subjugate us are those created by our own mind. But how far can we go? Well, uh, Katrina, could you please come here too? Make sure not to be scared, uh, stay here. C could you please blow here? Uh, this is just for my own pleasure, thank you. <laughs> and this is the advantage of being a mentalist, strange request. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, now let's go back to serious stuff. Uh, recall the butterfly effect, you know? The idea that the flutter of the wings of a butterfly in one part of the world can cause a storm on the other side. Um, if, I mean... <laughs> If everything is connected in our life, is it also possible to transfer experiences from one person to another? Maximilian, please stay here, be fully relaxed. I will touch you very slightly with my, with my finger like this, okay? Very lightly. When you feel a touch, okay, say nothing. Say nothing aloud, uh, do not react, just remember the spot where you felt the touch. Okay. Is this clear? In my face. Uh, probably it's gonna happen in your face, yeah. <laughs> so please close your eyes. Remember not to say anything aloud. 
Did you feel that? Yeah. Show the spot. Yeah, this is the good news. It means you're still alive. <laughs> okay, uh, stay like this. Do not move. Do not move. Stay like this. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Okay, show the spot now, please, Maximilian. Yeah, uh, was it like, keep your eyes closed. <laughs> uh, can you please, please, uh, please lean back your head? Yeah, yeah, stay like this, lean more back. Yes, stay like this, don't move. <sighs> okay, please show the spot where you're feeling. Are you feeling like a, a caress, like very light, right? Yeah. Look where I am. <laughs> Just a, a little bit strange. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I know I know what you're thinking. Actually, if it is possible to connect uh, body sensation like experiences, is it also possible to bridge minds? Is it also possible to touch the mind? Well, uh, I, I want to tell you a short story. Maximilian, please take the little box there. Uh, do not open it, okay? Uh, I remember as I, won, uh, as I was, uh, was uh, still young, <laughs> I was uh, eight years old, and uh, one of my biggest passions was to play in my grandma's uh, attic, yeah? And one day I found his bucket, and believe, believe me or not, I could tell the content just by concentrating on my grandma. Um, Catherine, could you please confirm to everybody that you have no idea what's inside the box? Yeah. No idea. No idea we, have a, we didn't prearrange something, yeah. we have no relationship, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> not yet, maybe. <laughs> so, Catherine, please take a seat here. Okay, remember to keep breathing, it's very important. Okay. I will now try to take your thought of this object, okay? You also have no idea what, uh, what it is right now. And I will put it in your brain, okay? Like uh, in the movie Inception, you know that movie? It's amazing. So please, Maximilian, look at the content and say nothing. Do not say what you are seeing, just remember. I will do something very dangerous. I will take a man's thoughts and put it and plant it into a woman's <laughs> brain. It's very dangerous, trust me. But we are a TEDx, so we, we can do stuff like this. Please, do not, do not speak anymore. Close your uh, eyes and also your ears until I remove your hands from the ears. Say nothing, okay? Just concentrate on your inner soul. Okay. Close, yeah, very well, like this. Okay, um, dearest Maximilian, please concentrate, concentrate as much as possible on what you just saw, okay? I will try to take his imagination, his thought, and to plant it in some, somebody else's brain. It looks easy, but it is not. Keep concentrating, Maximilian. Do not move. Hey, you're back into a reality world. How do you feel? Um, interesting, I heard something. Yeah, I tried to take somebody's thought and to put it in your brain, but it was not you thinking, right? It's like somebody was trying to enter your mind. W was it a man or a woman? A man. A man? Good, uh, good news. Uh, we never know. We never know. And uh, what, what you felt was clear or very... It wasn't blurry. Uh, but what did you feel exactly in, in your brain? It was right here and it was like something like saying. What exactly? A Bambi? A Bambi? Uh, Bambi, you mean... Uh, uh, how, how do you say Bambi in English? As ba a baby deer. How did you picture it in your uh, in your in your mind? Like Big or small? small Which yeah. color? Which color? How did like you see like it? In the movie? Yeah. The Bambi, it's like brown. Brown. It. Small white dots. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, honestly, I do not believe uh, in coincidence, but I do believe that we we can uh, influence our decisions to make them better, and I also believe that it is never too late to start dreaming as an eight-year-old child once again. Here's Bambi. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> okay, and this is a small gift for you. Yeah? You can keep it as a souvenir. You two guys, thank you so much for your help. You made a special... Uh, it was very precious that you came here. You can stay on the chairs, and I will now need the help of my last volunteer. Let's welcome him with a round of applause. You can come here. Thank you very much. S sit here. Okay, um, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Can I give you uh, a blindfold, uh, or you prefer not? 
Well, let, let, let's say that I will decide this, okay. I would like you to confirm to everybody that we did not prearrange anything. We, we did not. We did not. You have to look at them, I know that we don't. <laughs> Ah, wonderful. So, have, have you ever been hypnotized? No. You're, you're always like that. No, because you look very cold. You, no, you look very calm, very relaxed, and better, better, better. Amazing. Good news. I would like you to concentrate uh, on the name uh, or on uh, everything, all the details, of a person that who in your life made a very positive impression. It can be somebody you loved, somebody you were friend with, or somebody who is still uh, very active in your present. Can you think of somebody, one that you like? And you can think uh, about it, you can print it here, okay? And make sure that nobody sees what you write, so it's uh, for, safe, uh, for safety, just in case you should forget, or as a proof. So please write it down. And uh, while you write, Maximilian, could you please tell me your birthday date? The 4th of October. Which year? 1992. Yes, you were born on a Sunday. Did you know that? Huh? Yes, I did. Uh, and it was in the morning. Did you know that too? Um, yeah. Yeah? Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Uh, and you tell me your birth. Uh, I, I usually don't ask uh, women, but at TEDx we are, we are old friends. So, um, <laughs> 1st of August. May I ask you the, the year? 89. Yeah, you were born, look in my eye, Tuesday. I don't know actually. Now you know, now you know. <laughs> Uh, I swear to God, I was not looking. I was trying to find the days of the weeks uh, with my friends there. Did you uh, write somebody's name, somebody, yeah, in your mind? Okay. I will try to do something even more difficult. Not to see this person um, in your mind, but to see, to visualize this person in front of us. Put your hand like this and like this. I will say certain things. If what I should say should be right, you can do like this. If what I should say should be wrong, you can do like this. Is this, does this make sense? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Don't worry, okay? Now I will try to blend my mind with yours and to see exactly what you are seeing just in front of us. Yeah, I can see a person coming in our direction. She's, she, he's uh, walking. I think it's, it's a man, right? No, it's a woman? Well, okay, it was quite easy. Um, uh, okay, but it's a little bit strange because she's now just before us. And could you please ask this person, this woman, uh, how old she is? Can you please ask this? Concentrate, keep concentrating. Hey, yeah, she just answered. Uh, she is uh, 58 years old, right? Yes, <laughs> amazing. It's like I could touch this person. I think it's not a friend, it's more like a relative for you, right? Yeah. It's a person you had a very strong connection, especially over the last years. Sometimes when you were younger you had some difficulties, but now you overcome them all and it's like you your best friends, right? It's a very positive impression. And I feel like this person, is, uh, she, she cooks very well, right? Uh, no? Well, ah, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, it depends by what type of uh, kitchen, I guess, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I can feel she likes reading. She is not very tall, though, but uh, concentrate on the... It's hard to say the name, actually. Maybe... Maybe because you don't... I, I understand! Y open your eyes. You don't call her with a name because you just call her mom. Is it your mom? Yeah? yeah? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah! Your mom, 58 years old. Thank you so much for joining me in this show. You can go back to the chair. And well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a big emotion to be able to give my talks for you today. And hopefully we realize that there is much more potential of our own minds that we still need to explore. And uh, maybe in the future, a whole new level of communication can be achieved. So thank you, everybody, and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.